Hey everybody, welcome to Above All Journal. Today I have this walkthrough of the Disney Swap that I received for uh, way back when I did Aladdin. My goodness, that was probably back in August, I think. Uh, wow. <laughs> um, the reason why this is so late though, this walkthrough video, fun little fact about this book, the original one actually got lost in the mail. And we're not sure what happened to it, but uh, my partner decided to remake the project and this is the second journal she made. So shout out to her for going above and beyond. <laughs> she really didn't need to do that, but um, she did and this is what she made. So uh, as you can see, it's Finding Nemo, <laughs> and on the back we have this really chunky spine. I would say this is probably four four inch spine, and this is uh, what is his name? Marlin? Yeah, something. And Dory on the the back of Crush went in the movie. So that's kind of cool that she did that. Like wow, I don't know. Um, could be printed on the fabric or something that's super cool and then this is just an altered golden book little golden book sorry about that all right so opening up um I'll just do a quick little walk through of this uh she has these cute little finding nemo tabs on the side and it's such a cute little cute little journal Sorry for being uh, so stuffy this morning. My kids have brought some Cracker Barrel home. Cracker Barrel. Just some cock a -duty. Just some cock a -duty. <laughs> Does anybody else make up silly words to describe, like, other things? I don't know. I, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Here's Bruce. Yep, and then here we have like a tag. Let me pull this out. Let me try to at least. It's like a gigantic tag. It just lives in this little pocket. Page pocket. That's what I call those. Anyways. And then this opens. And then there's some little journal card things inside and on the back <laughs> we have all of Nemo's little friends there's Jacques so those are going in those just live in here and then here we have another one of those big gigantic Tags. Yeah, I'm not sure what digital kit she used, but this is made from digital kits. Here, it's super cute. It, it is usable. And then here we have an envelope inside. There is a Mickey Mouse die. So this was just a Disney theme. And then here we have some little labels. And um, some different tags. Little ephemeras to use. not have a Sizzix machine right now so I can't use the die cuts yet. Here's Mickey Mouse and Minnie. And then we have like a Tinkerbell moment here. And then we have some of the pages for or from the book. Opens. And 
we are going to Disneyland in a few months. And I, I, I was going to let the kids uh, put some memories in here from our Disney trip. And we're staying at the Pixar, so Finding Nemo makes sense for that. We're excited to go. We can't wait. And then these are just like ticket samples. Just a bunch of them. Just all kinds of tickets in there. And then we have Fish Are Friends Not Food. And that goes in this little pocket. And there's Goofy. He's And Minnie Mouse and Mickey and his cousin maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know all of the... Uh, I don't know all the characters. Guess I better get uh, studying since we're going so so quickly. And then here we have just some ephemera and some die cuts. So it uh, looks like Mary Poppins. And we have some of these. Here we have a, a dragonfly and these other little tidbits. And then we have some Mickey confetti in here, and that's super cute. So, I'll put that back off camera so you don't have to watch me fiddle around with those. Lots of places to write, lots of places to collage and put things. It's like a tag. Just slides right in. This has like a nice texture to it. This page does. And so does this. It's really nice. Finding Nemo. Tag there. I have never altered a little golden book, and I just got a couple yesterday, so. I'm planning on doing that. I got a, I, as if I need more projects, but um, I got a Christmas one and, oh, this is a lot. So this is a pretty big packet here um, of ephemera. But anyways, I got a Christmas little golden book and they're all vintage, all of them. They're from like the 50s, 70s, 80s. 90s even I think there was one from the 90s but I'm excited to use it and then I have a rush on one of my junk journals because some unexpected things came up so I have to hurry and make some make some for a gift and these are super cute I can see using these of the shells that's cute and we just have all of this to collage and play with and that's cute I like that too I never find those cute acetate things myself where did this come from not out of there let's just come out of here so we'll put that back and then in here there's just some more little ephemeras stickers, teacups, and my partner did know that we were planning on going on our little Disney um, excursion, so that's where this ephemera comes in from all the other different attractions that you can do at Disneyland. So. There's that, and then these three tags here, this little pocket, super cute. Those just are there. Hmm. There's Mickey Mouse, so, so fun. Here's some music paper. And that flips out. Some more uh, action here. We have Mr. Ray. And then we have these 
other tags. Oh no, get back in there. <laughs> she did glue it down, so uh, there are three separate pockets there. There's Crush. And that is the end of the journal. So, thank you guys for watching. I gotta find where I put that other. There it is. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm getting caught up, so I'm thinking the next one will likely be the uh, grandma's notebooks. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's what I have next. Wait a second here. These went in here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that so I don't ruin these. But anyways, um, I shall see you guys in my next video very soon. Hopefully Monday will be another film day for me. And until then, see you later. Bye-bye.